We are back on Get Up, and we have breaking news. And for that, we bring in our NFL insider extraordinaire, Adam Schefter, as there is a lot of news from the NFL today, as expected. Shefty, what do we have? Green, a busy morning in the NFC North. Moments ago, the Chicago Bears parted ways with Matt Nagy. Let him go fired this morning. No surprise there. The Minnesota Vikings have fired their head coach, Mike Zimmer, and their general manager, Rick Spielman. So Matt Nagy is out in Chicago. Mike Zimmer, Rick Spielman out in Minnesota. The NFC North making a host of changes this morning, none of which come as any terrible surprise here when we look at it. Matt Nagy met with Bears ownership this morning at 7 a.m. Central. Then they called a team meeting that may still be underway as of right now. That was scheduled to begin at 8 a.m. Eastern, where Matt Nagy was meeting with his team. And I would imagine, I don't know that officially, Greeny, that he informed them at the meeting of what had happened today. They had been let go, and I'm sure he thanked them for all their time and services. Now the Bears face a big decision going forward as to who will be the head coach. And I think a lot of people are wondering about the general manager, Ryan Pace. No official word yet. My understanding is, I think the sense was that he was going to be retained, but that is not official. Again, Matt Nagy's out. Ryan Pace, we don't have official confirmation of, but my understanding was the expectation was that he would be kept in place. If we go over to Minnesota, sweeping changes there with the Vikings. Mike Zimmer knew his time was coming to an end. People around the league knew that his time was coming to an end there in Minnesota as well. And so he is out as the Vikings head coach. The general manager, Rick Spielman, is out as the Vikings head coach. Zimmer had eight years to try to get it done in Minnesota. It didn't happen. And now both NFC North teams this morning are making dramatic changes, Greeny. All right, that's Shefty with the very latest here again. Not unexpected, and we'll see if there's anything further today. Shefty, stay close by. Thank you. Again, the big news, Chicago and Minnesota with coaching changes. Uh, you see Mike Zimmer on the screen there and, and Matt Nagy as well. Dan, just quick reaction here, obviously, in Chicago. This is, comes as no surprise. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's something that was warranted because Matt Nagy, I felt, failed to realize that the most important thing this season was to show the development of Justin mm -hmm. Fields. And they kept him on the bench and kept him on the bench, and then they had the opportunity to play a little bit and there was so many bright spots yeah. and they that that never happened and we said this going into the season. This was your second shot yep. to try and prove that you were capable of developing yep. a young quarterback, and you didn't. I wish him well. I hope he lands on his feet. But this is the second most important decision in the history of this organization. I think the first one was the selection of Justin Fields, and now it's going to be who you decide to be the, the head coach to steward his development. No, I absolutely agree with that. We, call, we all kind of understood what Matt Nagy was faced with at the beginning of the season, and it seemed like Matt Nagy was the only guy that didn't understand it. Right. And now you watch the way that this team goes, the way that the quarterback position was handled, and you knew they had to move on. It's going to be extremely impo important who you get to steward yeah. Justin Fields. He's a guy with an immense amount of talent. He definitely needs work, but he needs someone that can mentor him into being the player he can become. Yeah, I think go out and get a real leader. And yeah. when, when you look at decisions that this organization has made, the hiring of Mike Ditka comes to mind that mm -hmm. we wanted to bring back a bear. Mm -hmm. Would it be, I mean, I'm just throwing it out there. Could we see Harbaugh mm. return as a, uh, as a coaching candidate for the, no, start, no, Max, for the so, Chicago Max, Bears? So number one, that would be the number one phone call I would make. Absolutely. Would be Harbaugh. Absolutely. I would call Nathaniel Hackett from the Green Bay Packers. Yeah. I would call Sean Payton. From the New Orleans Saints. Are you forgetting about somebody? Leave. I would call Doug Peterson. Are you forgetting about somebody? Right. Who was that somebody? I, you know, right. That would be me, but I'm not saying. I'm not interested. I'm not interested in going to be a head interested. coach. You're interested. I'm not interested in it. Don't, I don't believe the rumors about being a head coach. I'm not saying it. I'm not commenting on it. You get it nowhere. You call, sit back and walk out there, you know. Be, I mean, but here's the thing. But Harbaugh, I think, is a logical choice. Yep. They did it with Mike Dicka, and it worked. And, and the same kind of intent and passion mm -hmm. that they got from Ditka they can get from Harbaugh. Jim Harbaugh played quarterback under Mike Ditka in right. Chicago in the yeah. early 90s there. Mike Ditka was brought back as a Hall of Fame tight end by George Hallis, the patriarch of that franchise once upon a time, and led them to what remains the only Super Bowl they ever won. As far as Nagy is concerned, the bottom line is this. He was brought there to mentor a young quarterback. That guy's name was Mitch.
Mitch Trubisky. Yeah. That's two <laughs> quarterbacks already that it didn't wind up working out with. So while I don't sit here and call for anybody's right. firing, I, it's just, I wouldn't want anyone to do it to me. This one certainly makes sense. And I will say this, if they keep the, the general manager in place, that will be very unpopular amongst the fan base. Yeah. Because that's the same general manager who drafted Trubisky ahead of Deshaun Watson yeah. and, and Mahomes but, and everything else that has gone but, wrong. But the challenge, so I said week one. You guys know where I stood on Matt Nagy. I thought they, that, that was the perfect example of why they needed to move on from him. The challenge for Chicago, if when you choose to hire a new general manager, the cupboard is bare somewhat with that roster and picks. Yeah, so you got to yeah. be fair to the new general manager and the new head coach to give them time right, be patient to recuperate. With them. Yeah. yeah, their first round pick is with the Giants now. They traded up to get Justin Fields last year, but at least they have that building block in place. We'll see again the news. Matt Nagy out in Chicago, Mike Zimmer and general manager Rick Spielman out in Minnesota. Those from Shefty in just the last few moments. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.